Uh, my name is Ross Finman. I'm a testing engineer and operator of the rover. I'm Steve Huber, and I'm a member of the mechanical design team. For the obstacle test, uh, we are trying different scenarios to see like what the rover's capabilities are, what is the maximum obstacle that we can surmount successfully, where do we get hung up. It's been a way to sort of prove out rover rover's locomotion system on Earth before ever sending it to the moon. Basically, how does the rover's mobility system handle in a mock-up lunar terrain. So we've determined um, an average obstacle size that it can overcome of 15 centimeters. Uh, that's based on what we think we can pick out with the stereo vision system. More importantly, it's just basically, can it get over a bigger rock? It's able to actually overcome with the front wheel an obstacle that's larger than its ground clearance, which causes a problem of high centering. As you surmount the uh, obstacle with your front wheel, you actually land so that your body hits the obstacle afterwards. If it's on one side, then you have to twist the robot around until the rock, like, or until the wheel actually touches the rock and lifts itself up. In other situations, you can just keep driving forward and then try and get over it. But most of the time, it is a combination of skid steering and uh, driving backward. Uh, so we've tested the rover to be able to overcome those obstacles regardless of how they're positioned under the wheels. Uh, and have really found that the mobility system we've designed has been able to overcome even more than we've expected.